What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant, and today we are joined by our dear friend, Abba is in the mother. Yeah. 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 Out here, you know what I'm saying? Officially an American citizen. Let's go, go. go man. Yeah. Or Renounce green card. My country. Is that what happened? Yeah. Let's well, go. I like Let's it over here. You minus, do. Minus the shootings. Everything else is amazing. Wait, but y'all got shootings too, right? Nah, nah, nah. Did were you wearing that Absolutely. in support of the uh, LGBTQ community? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I saw that last talk game. I was like, yo, we already know what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You stand Wasn't it up. crazy when that man ran up on the field? They switched them cameras off so quickly. When? Oh, and yeah. then he dropped the flag, the referee picks it up, they switched it again. No. Yeah, yeah, I saw it live during the game. I couldn't stop laughing. The Qataris do not around with that LGBTQ stuff. But didn't they say it's okay to wear it now? I thought they reversed. Yeah, I thought they came back, bro. You're supposed they? to know all the Did they? Yeah. I don't did know they? if they did, but I yeah. I thought they, they reversed their Cause thing. Because they didn't let any of the players wear the armbands. <laughs> Remember the guys wanted to wear like that one love armband? They were like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. suck it is great. And then <laughs> they decided not to because FIFA came down and said, no, nah, y'all can't do that. And what is your thought on that? I think it's, I think it's funny. Well, I mean, FIFA's always been a corrupt organization. You guys ever seen that video? Yes, it's great. When he throws the fucking money, the up money. Makes Isn't it that money. one of that the best moments? That is absolutely. That guy's a comedian, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah, 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 he's like a stand-up comic that like did it as like a like a sketch stunt thing. Also, if anybody's wondering where Alex is. So, <laughs> okay, so, so, so he's yeah. coming though. He's coming. Yeah, yeah, he should be here. He Once we're be done here, with the gay so. section, exactly. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to him in a section. Yeah, so he can feel comfortable. Oh, what's up, oh, Alex? Well, here we go. Hey. Welcome, hey. welcome, Alex Media. People got a shit, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um. So you're saying FIFA's already corrupt. FIFA's gonna do what the fuck they're gonna. You guys do. know they bought their place to Qatar, right? Yeah, explain this to everybody yeah, because what? I know because I'm one of the world's greatest or the world's greatest soccer journalists, but most people don't I'm know not. exactly what it is. Yeah, I'm not. So, so I can understand why he calls it soccer. Why don't you call it football? Oh, well, oh. I just don't think it's a real sport, so I don't really care what I call it. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Take Aren't that. you guys live streaming the not real sport at 2 p.m. today? Yeah, We're gonna yeah, yeah. live stream the activity. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Isn't that what live stream is about? Is it you just tweeting, you know, hey, Twitch nonsense? Hey, we're not yeah, a sports it's podcast about anymore. To chat. <laughs> it's talking to chat. Chat. We're going to talk to chat. It's pop culture. That's what the World Cup is. It's pop culture. 100%. Mm. It's, it's fucked up, though. Simulated war. And Iran is going to get what's coming mm -hmm. to them. Yeah, you guys were tweeting some crazy shit. Talking well, about the wrong flags and starting beef before the game even starts. That's hey, what hey, we hey, do, hey, dog. Hey, they hey. lucky we'll let them have a flag. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were, were you <laughs> tweeting? Don't make me send Ben Affleck back in there, bro. <laughs> were you tweeting yeah. before the game? What? They gave, the U.S. men's national team gave me their Twitter account. Whoa. And I posted that flag up, bro. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be Top Gun. <laughs> it's about to be Top Gun. One more time tonight. Pulisic, he's Top Gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's Do you got, know who Pulisic is? Yeah, yeah, he's the guy who plays on left wing for you guys, yeah. He plays he, what? Huh? On the left. You guys, uh, you oh, he plays on the you left. You know there's positions in, in, in that activity you call soccer? Bro, I only play on the right of everything. Bro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I don't play left with nothing, bro. Yeah. No. I'm being honest. Show 2024. I did, exactly. I did, come on. Come on, Manosphere or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Adam. Yo, I like how as soon as I come up here, that shit come up. Bro, we hey, like how do you feel about the red pill? <laughs> Yo, come on, man. I didn't ask that question. What I did ask you is... Uh. Something else. Yes. <laughs> you asked me about how Qatar bought their place at the World Cup. Can you explain that? They literally have tapes of them just bribing FIFA officials in order to secure their bid for, for the World Cup to be hosted now, there. they're bribing the guy in charge and that guy takes that money and puts it in his bank account? Absolutely. Or he has to pay out everybody else at FIFA and everybody else? No, they were paying tapes. multiple people out. So it's a committee that happens, but what ended up happening is they got caught on tape paying out people. Yeah. This is all like on, there's but, audio of it. But there's what can you do? What you mean, what can you do? What can you why, do? why ain't we doing that shit? Yeah. We ain't, we ain't I mean, ethics, I guess. Ethics. Come what on, a bro. sorry. She's you think that, does it, how many, is there ethics here? <laughs> one of them, one of them stars got to stand for ethics. No. Which no, one? The know. first 13 all stood for ethics. You know and what? after that, we said, that's enough of that. Yeah, ethics is exhausting. Now it's about destiny and manifesting yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Man. So that's they the first it. secret, manifest destiny. is. You know what? I envision killing all these other brown people, and we take this whole 50 for us. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was out there, man, and it's- We uh, had a vision board. Where, in Qatar? No, no, not Qatar. I was out there in um, Navajo country. Okay. Yeah. And um, 
And it is beautiful. We need it back. Navajo country, is that one of those places that used to belong to the natives that doesn't anymore? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well they still, would still. never say that it belongs to them. They would say nobody can own it. And then we were like, ah. <laughs> Pay your taxes, stupid. <laughs> 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 yeah. It makes That's me think crazy. of those guys who get arrested, like, I'm a free citizen. Yeah, the cops sure. are like, yeah, whatever, stupid. Give me your, <laughs> give me your driver's yeah. license. <laughs> I mean, we gotta do it with the moon. Because right now, everyone's like, oh, no one can own the moon. Yeah. But if we go there, we could just be like, yeah, the moon's ours. I mean, we do we, own the moon. We planted that flag. Yeah, yeah we own the moon. Come on. Talking about I know, that. but like, we don't actually own it, own it. I mean, if we went to the moon and there was like Chinese people there, I'd be like, beat it. <laughs> yeah. Right? This is our fucking moon. Yeah, but I don't think you can rent. say that, though. I don't think we legally own it. What? Yeah, I know. That's my thing. What are you, what are you trying to say? Yeah. We were the ones that took one giant step and one giant reap. For man, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? they weren't out there taking giant reaps, dude. There's no fucking way it can be theirs. That, that's true. That is true. But I don't think I don't think we own it, own it. But we got to go up there and get it. That's the bullshit. That's like, that French shit. No, talking, but, but I don't, like, legally, I don't think we own it. Son, we we own just don't that live shit. there. If we live there, it's ours. We exactly. Real estate you know is when ours. You, you know when you have like a plate of food and somebody goes, "That's mine." That's what we did to the moon. Yeah, that's, but what if someone else goes? Yo, I'm not going to lie. Foreign Hold up, that's, that's the wait. first time in my life I felt bad for Native Americans when you just did that right there. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that is foul. What we did? <laughs> yo, what oh. you mean? I'm Taino Indian, baby. Come Are on. you? Yeah, Puerto Rican. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Yeah. I apologize for what we did to your people. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. Give me Christ. my land back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You deserve Got it. You, there, you deserve it, dude. No, shout out to Nate. He's looking for a three bedroom for you right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for you in East Village. Okay, so basically they're bribing everybody. They're basically throwing money. They're they're saying, hey, here's what is it, three hundred million apparently they spent? More than that. More than that. More than that. The bribes are like undisclosed. They're not entirely sure, but yeah. Because you have to imagine that's like such a good first tourism is really good. It puts a lot of they they're Qatari people are trying to draw in workers and experts from different places. It's kind of like Dubai. Hmm. Are they they're just trying to be like Disneyland of the Middle East. Right. And they want to, because they, they don't have a huge population, so they rely on outsiders to come in. So for them, it's good advertisements, good tourism dollars. It puts them on the map, because most people didn't even know Qatar existed before today. Bro, it's a huge geopolitical move for the region when you think about it, because <laughs> before that, people knew Dubai. Yeah. They know Saudi. <laughs> Nobody's talking about Qatar. Nobody. And who was beefing before? Dubai and Saudi were beefing with Qatar, weren't they? Didn't they do some blockade or some shit? They've been having issues. I think that's more with Yemen, though. I think the Yemen's a country. No, I think that they did a blockade for Qatar. Really? Yeah, this is maybe like a year ago or something like that. It's possible. Anyway, so having the World Cup in your land and then not... I think we were talking about this was on Patreon or another podcast. But having the World Cup in your land and then not capitulating to the Western desires? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a flex. That's dude. a super flex. It's the yeah. biggest flex. Yeah. Well, they're really... The only people that they need to care about is what FIFA says, and FIFA is only caring about money, so it really doesn't matter what the West says. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, FIFA's not beholden to the West like that. They're, you, they get paid enough, they don't care. And also, FIFA has so much influence over all the leagues across Europe that they don't care what any of these Western powers say because these leagues are super important to each economy. So they're like, you can suck my dick. They literally said, suck my dick. Yeah, you didn't hear that? Uh, today I'm gay. Son. Today I'm bald. Today I'm uh, LGBT, whatever. The funniest shit. You didn't see that speech? Wayne Rooney said that? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? No, the FIFA president. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, today I'm a migrant worker. That was a crazy speech. They killed however many slaves in Qatar to build this whole thing. And yeah. he's like, you know what? I feel like one of y'all. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. FIFA president? That was wild. That's a speech. It's right. so weird, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How's it going to be a fucking... Come on, man. No, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Come Mark. on now. Mark, we're gonna get this. I think we are. I'm gonna we're gonna make sure the audio is turned on out there also. <laughs> we're gonna make sure the audio is turned on out there so we get some audio. Okay, I get some water too, though. Should be playing. Cassette, you got the audio going? Mm. Okay, so basically. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Doesn't matter. Point is, he basically but he's trying to make the point that everybody's virtue signaling, that they don't actually care. Right? Mm -hmm. No, I, the, yeah. this guy? Yeah, yeah. Partially, yeah. he's basically saying, like, how can the West have anything to say? Like, your history, you should shut up for the next, like, 3,000 years. But I was like, bro, the blood of the <laughs> migrant workers hasn't even dried underneath the stadium. That's what's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, he's talking about, now. like, their past history. It's like, bro, these people died, like, now. last year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what? It, also, people brought this up to me, but it's like, I think folks don't realize just how much more racist the Middle East is, even compared to the West. So, for example, if Akash goes, the only difference between him and the migrant is his passport. And that's the only thing that gets him treated like a human being. Why? Because, because so your people- Smarter than those <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Jesus, bro. Hey, y'all want to be racist to me? I can throw it right back. I'll have a single in this seat, but you know what it behave, is. Behave, Browns. Everybody <laughs> calm down, okay? Now, now, you're saying the migrants are from India, so they're going to treat him like yeah, a Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're from India, Pakistan, uh, East Africa, like Southern Asia. And so they'll use all these people to come down and work, but like they treat them like garbage. You're relegated to certain neighborhoods. You can't get out. Uh, if you try to move anywhere else, they'll bar you from it. Damn. But like though, if they find out his passports from any of those countries, oh, he getting fucked up. Damn. Really? Yeah. Now, yeah. and you're saying that this this tri type of treatment exists all throughout the Middle East. Oh yeah. So, so for example, second class so for example, even if you go to Lebanon, all right, I'm just taking an example. Of Lebanon, the Lebanese people don't get at me, but like all the Arab countries, they, they they get maids. And if you know anything about the maids, like this was a scandal for a long time. They would keep the passport. They would mistreat them if they wanted to. Mm. They, they killed a whole bunch of them. They didn't give a fuck. There's like some torture stories that are like horrific. I'm talking about putting nails inside people. People. Um, wow. There's videos. I did a video on this four years ago. There's like, oh man, that fucking video is fucked up. But you literally see a maid hanging on like the roof uh, out of the window of an apartment building, and the person who owns the maid like was filming it, and you hear her fall and then hit the ground like from like. Oh. Steps. Yeah, it's very common over there how they mistreat a lot of them. Now there's some people who have maids and don't treat them terribly, um, but they're treated like third class citizens. They don't have. They can't leave if they want to. Um, there's a bunch of fucked up stuff. Jesus. Yeah, and these are vulnerable people because they leave their countries to work so they can send money back home, but they're like, because they're desperate for work, mm -hmm. they can treat them however they want. Okay, so uh, I've actually heard this too about even like doing the Hajj, mm -hmm. like walking around the circle, like where you get to, where you get to stand mm -hmm. is dependent on like the hierarchy of people. Oh, really? So yeah, it's like if you're black African going to do it, like you're standing in the sun. Yeah. And if you're some like white Muslim dude or you're standing real nice and shaded. Yeah. Have you heard this? I haven't heard that specifically, but it wouldn't surprise me considering like even Muslims know this, like the difference between Arab Muslims and like black Muslims is like very apparent. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. In what way? Well, I mean, to be fair and, and to be generous to them, like it's not all Muslims who feel this way, but there is like in the Arab world, you can all be Muslims, but if they find out that you're a black person, they don't want you to marry their daughters. It's also tribal, because even if you're like from a different tribe, sometimes yeah. they like that to some degree. But yeah, racism out there is, is wild, yeah. bro. Colorism, so, classism, it's all, it's all a thing. Out there. Yeah. But white Muslims yeah, need the shade the most, though, in the Middle East. That's right? a good point. Right? Like, they, it might be like a disability thing where they're trying to help them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we don't have the protection. Yeah, the exactly. Protection. It's like, yo, they need the most. It's actually a charity that they're trying to do. Maybe. What do you think? What do you think about that? The logic is sound. I tried to pick at it and I couldn't. Right? Have I, you made the Hajj? Have you made the Hajj yet? No, I'm not Muslim. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell the way this guy's looking at me. I'm like, wait, I think you got this fucked up. Yeah, 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 you are. Well, no, no, bro. Yeah. I've been on that pussy this and alcohol diet for a long time. Say, well, right. you've been on pussy and alcohol diet yeah, for a long time. Were you born Absolutely. Muslim? Yeah. I was raised in a home that tried to make me Muslim. That's what that's what we meant. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was never like going to the mosque and praying and shit like that. <laughs> But My mom wanted me too, but I was just like, nah. Did you want us to identify you as an atheist? That's pretty <laughs> yeah. gay of you. That's pretty non qatari of you. non qatari It's kind of a trans answer. He was like, I was assigned Muslim. Yeah. 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 That's the yeah. hex. And then Yo, I transitioned. You're trans atheist. I was never My pronouns are bacon and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in God? Uh, I'm indifferent. You're indifferent. I don't think it matters what I believe. I think at the end of the day, you just try to be a decent person. If he does exist, then you did a good job. And if he doesn't exist, then you still were a decent person. That's the end of it. And like, in your personal experience, why do you think that God made you love white box, bro? <laughs> What do you think God did? Man, I'm going to be honest with you. You know what it is? It's like, it's yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be honest. hands come out. I mean, that was crazy. You know, I, a good I, lie about to be said. I, I, I'm a creature of convenience. You feel me? <laughs> it's kind of like going to the corner store. It's just everywhere. It's kind of like, why would it? I mean, don't look at me. Hey, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 I don't even treat white women like the local bodega. Come on, man. Don't even lie. My queen. Shut up, you know? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, you know, I got love for the white queens, but it is what it is. Do you feel pressure to not love the white queens? Oh yeah, for sure. But you love that milk though. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not in public. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you won't walk them, or do you cover them up because that's convenient? Uh, All of a sudden, they got a burka. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. convenience. Whoa. That's the way to Whoa. make it work. That's the way to Was make it work. Is that the reason why it was invented? Could be, could be. I think there's a lot of slave masters who just didn't want to be seen in public. They didn't want anybody to know that wasn't their wife. 
Think about that. Nobody can catch you cheating if they don't know it's not your girl. Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's genius. That's Yo, <laughs> if you can get your side chick to wear a burka for so you, you, she's good. loyal as fuck. Well. Like, you gotta get your that's main. That's crazy. Now you gotta get your main as well. And you're not even allowed to look at your girl, right? <laughs> yeah. Because like, if you're trying to decide, no, this is brilliant. If you're trying to decide, yeah. it's like avoid the male gaze or whatever that is, exactly. right? Exactly. Like, so even if you're gazing and you're like, yo, is that Linda? It's like, yo, the fuck, yeah. bro? Like, you and it's sexy it, too. Bro. It's sexy. Yeah. What is sexy? Because in the, in the era of spandex and tight clothes, it's nice to yeah. a little mystery. Oh, you know? is, it, is it though? Yeah, is what it color? That, is? that oh. yo, son, son. I, hey, we're the Muslims in this house. You trying to sell us some shit we not buying. Hey, yeah, 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 come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, you yeah, ain't yeah. never seen a girl under a burqa and be like, man, I really want to know what she looked like under there. Nah. Never? You ever, nah, nah, I never? I used to go to Walgreens and there'd be this girl with full burqa, bro. Up to here, like yeah. the, like the what is the, what is the wars back over religion? What is that shit called? Crusade? Crusade, like, Matt. Like, <laughs> yeah. this shit was only here you could see it. <laughs> the war and, <laughs> you know, you know, and, uh, and Every war? Yeah, yeah. Not about? at all of them, you know. Um, but, and she had a full unibrow, bro. Hmm. And it's like, you have one area. <laughs> like, you had one area that you had to groom. Like, that's no excuse. Just go like, like this. Yeah. Just go, whoop. You could pull it down, right? right? A little. Drop it low. Yeah. Poo shiesty. <laughs> yeah. you, know yeah. you could go poo shiesty with it, <laughs> but she didn't. And I remember doing it every single time. I was like, damn, this girl. Yeah, that's crazy. Fuck. Yeah. Well, this is Mark and I have talked about this. Girls who wear hijab a lot of times have really pretty faces because that's the one area that they expose to everybody. Mm. So they buy all the best skincare stuff. Not in 2022, man. Women with hijabs nowadays, they be rocking like spandex and the tightest clothes, showing you everything without showing you nothing. Doing cool That's weird to me, bro. Hey, you, it's like halal from the head up and then halam down. You, you know, don't it's, like just, it. it's so tight. I'm like, bro, there's no modesty there. I think you're more Muslim than you think you are. To be honest. <laughs> Yo. Nah, I just don't I like hypocrisy. I think these women wear clothes that make them feel good. Nah, nah, I yeah. just don't like hypocrisy. Like, the nah. whole point of the hijab is modest. Islam is the way, my boy. Tell him. Tell him. Islam is the way. I Tell think em. you need to come back to the squad. I think I think version one of America was a Christian nation. Version two has got to be Muslims. Yo, oh. shout out Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? Yes. About to move to Romania. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Why do you think uh, version two is uh, Muslim? I just think... The more I hear people speak, the more it just sounds like they want a non-secular country that has like extreme conservative values, even beyond what like Christians would espouse nowadays. And mm. so it's interesting to me. It's like even this whole red pill wave of everyone being on like the Muslim hype train. Yeah. It's like you realize they just want to take control and they realize like Islam is the only country that like Is the red pill wave still a thing? Are people still oh, into yeah. that? It's even it's bigger than ever. Really? Is it really? Yeah. Son, I'm out of touch. Me too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like popped up for a little bit. Like Tate absolutely took over the internet for a few months, and then now it seems like. Do you guys have the same perception? Look at these blue pill cucks. Yeah, <laughs> <it's us. laughs> they got the relationship all the time. Blue pill beta, dog. Ran by blue the blue, 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 blue beta. bill beta cuck. Dude. Triple yeah. B's out here, bro. For real, bro. Yeah, no, it's definitely popular. It's definitely more popular than ever. Really? And what are they angry at? Like it's never been easier to get pussy. Feminists. But they hate feminists. Just don't they fuck hate, them. They hate women. You know what I mean? I, I, I think you, here's a new talking point. That's just popular. don't fuck the feminists. What's the big deal about that? Yeah. Nah, they're all indoctrinated. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm taking their perspective, okay. they're all indoctrinated. That's why all these women nowadays in America are whores. That's what they be saying. <laughs> so wait, you can't get pussy and all the girls are whores. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you just got to use them and toss them around because like they're not worthy of being wives. But, but mm -hmm. I thought the issue is they can't get pussy. They're frustrated with girls. Like all these girls want tons of money and that kind of shit. So they can't get any girls. How can girls be whores and you can't get no pussy? It's like, Did someone explain this to me? It's easy, it's easy. It's like, if you're one of the top dogs, you get all the pussy. Mm. And the guys on the bottom get none. Welcome to life. Top dog. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, what do you, what do you I mean it should be is? like that. They should just, you know what I mean? They should be sold and bought. Well, that's a crazy statement. But that's where they're going. Hold up. Recently, I, I heard some people say stuff like, remove their birth control and their right to vote. That's becoming like a thing they say in a lot. Remove their birth control. Yeah. Actually, I saw a girl say, uh, and it, she's like a like a girl, Andrew Tate. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah, that's, she, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is her name? <sighs> Just Pearly Thinks. I, I think, wait, that's... Yeah, the redhead. But what is her name? Yeah, she's, she's got red hair. I, I don't know what her real okay. name is, but that's so, her YouTube name. But she had, a, she had a point where she was like, uh, she was like, I don't think women should be able to vote because women aren't involved in a mandatory draft yeah. so that they don't bear the consequences of their votes, yeah. which I thought was really interesting. I think the other way to go with it is say, you are involved in the draft yeah. and now you can vote. But it is an interesting thing to say. You can vote about us going into a war or not going into a war and not deal with the consequences. Mm -hmm. I was like, ooh, this girl's been think tanking. 
It's a little think tank. It's a little think tank. Right? I see you think tank. Right? Like she found a nice little lane. That was a that to me, that's like a like a stand-up bit the way she's yeah. thinking about it. Right. I was like, yeah. oh, you found an angle that I didn't see. Except it's not a stand-up bit. But it is funny a little bit. It is funny though. Well, if it's funny, it's funny. But if it's serious, it's kind of like, all right, chill. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a joke, I'm winning. Hold on, hold on. It's funny. It's hold funny on now. Funny. If it's funny, it's hold funny. Hold on now. Isn't it great being comedians? Like, yeah. even if we're serious, we get in trouble. Like, I was joking about that shit. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you took me seriously? Yeah. You know, I actually wanted to ask you guys about Yes. Because, like, somebody was go. asking me that. But here we go. Pull I think a lot, uh, uh, no, a lot of comedians be online using the comedy thing, but you see that they're trying to spread political opinions that are, like, rather oh, serious. Oh, God. You know what I'm talking about, right? But, yes. and, I, and I think the late night shows are, are partially like very guilty of that. No. And do you think it doesn't obfuscate a little bit the whole idea of like these are just jokes a little bit? Well, can you first uh, define the word yeah, office gate? I, yeah, I knew that was going <laughs> to fuck. You don't know what office gate? Makes no, it no, office gate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 office gate. What, yeah. It's like when Watergate. They, when they steal in like the staplers and shit yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, it just mixes it up. It makes yeah. it confusing. Uh, what well, what are you saying is confusing specifically? Well, it's like like the late night shows. Yeah, sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know, we're just out here joking. They don't but care about the political opinions at all. All that is a function of, and I and I learned this recently just from being on a movie. <sighs> it's a function of just not trying to lose your job. So a lot of people are writers for a show, mm. and they can write the bit that is leans conservative, mm. which could potentially get them in trouble, and then maybe get them fired because someone else is worried about losing their job. Yeah, right. Or they can write the bit that leans liberal, which you'll never get fired for. Nobody's mm. ever gotten fired for being too liberal. Okay. Right? Well, no ever Balenciaga. Gotten... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very, funny. very liberal. And we should get into that. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> but but it, in terms of like being too accepting, yeah. right? Like I think when we're all in an environment, and the reason I say this, I was, I was doing a movie and a guy got fired, a white dude, old guy, got fired. He was working on the movie for reading the script and the script had the N word. Okay. Right? And I asked some of the actors, black mm -hmm. actors, right? It was a majority black movie. Yeah. And I asked them, I was like, yo, were you offended by that? And they were like, they're like, no. Like, it's like, it's in the script. It's his job to tell what's going on in the scene. Maybe he could have not said it, but I wasn't like, I can't move on with this yeah. movie. But the overcorrection <clears throat> was the studio going, okay, we gotta make sure that this doesn't look bad on us. We can't make it look like there's this racist. Okay, he's fired. Mm -hmm. Now everything, send the diversity people over. Everybody's just trying to protect themselves. And the easiest way to protect yourself is to be open-minded about everything, which is more liberal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think it's like, how can we infuse liberal ideology into the population through late night shows? So you don't, when you see Colbert or when you see Trevor Noah, you don't feel like those are their real political opinions? I, I mean, with Trevor Noah, it's like, you just got here. <laughs> like, I don't even understand it. Like, I don't care about politics, and I am I bear the consequences of all of it. Now, nah, but Trevor Noah had a bit that went viral, I'm pretty sure it was him, well before The Daily Show, about racism and, like, I, it was racism toward blacks <laughs> yeah. in America. Yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that was years. Oh, I thought you were talking about his other shit that, uh... Oh, no, no, no. The, no, no, the no. tweets that went viral. No, no. No, no, I, no, listen, I'm sure he's interested, and I'm sure he's interested in America as it reflects to him, like a biracial person that comes from a place of extreme racism mm -hmm. and like what the different versions of that are here, of course. Mm -hmm. But to care about who's the senator of Montana, <coughs> like there's no way you care. I don't care. I don't, I don't know who the governor of New York is. Hockey? Something like that. I don't know. I just found out it's a lady. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, and shout out to her. <laughs> the, <laughs> Why is she that? <laughs> we'll bleep it. We'll bleep it. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> she is though. She is. But, Why is she that? <laughs> but 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 shout out to her though, and her family. Shout out to her and her family. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I guess my point is like, you don't care that much. No one really cares that much. It's a nice bag. Mm. But Trevor makes so much goddamn money doing stand up right now. He don't need that fucking four day a week job. Mm. So he's out. So yeah, I don't think people care that much. No, nah, he's out because he's fucking Dua Lipa. That's I get a game changer. Oh, that ain't gonna yeah, make yeah. me leave. I gotta get That's a little pushback. Okay, go, go, go. John Stewart. Yes. He's not doing it anymore, but he's still in politics and he actually cares. Yeah. He fucking cares. John Stewart he is, is still doing it. for actually caring. But he actually cares, and he cared even when he wasn't doing the show. I genuinely think he, he's like um, irritated, bothered, concerned, like wants to help, mm -hmm. and like you can see it through his actions. Really? But he's also from here. These are like his people, and he has the platform and the influence. Like, if I went to another country, I wouldn't try to fix it. It depends. If you, stuck you know I mean? if I went to London, I'm not going to be like, here's, I'm going to be the. I do know what he's saying though, and we've said this about John Stewart, how he started this thing of like, 
uh, comedy is political yeah. more than other people. We, we, you would have been better, but like now you are having a political message through your comedy and a through line. And Stuart was the best at it and genuinely felt it. But then it became this kind of expectation yeah. that your comedy has a political slant. So it got a little bit away from, hey, these are just jokes. And now it's, hey, here's my political agenda with jokes behind also, it. Also, there's an audience behind it. Like, that's the thing about you throw something up on Twitter and it leans into a group and they all reward it. You feel that and it's cozy, I imagine. Mm -hmm. So I think people who gravitate towards um, appreciation and validation are gonna say the things that get appreciated and validated. Sure. And it's very difficult as a comedian to be like, ugh, I don't, I don't want that type of validation. Yeah. Mm. Well, what yeah. do you think? You think like they're using it as a shield? They're using the <clears throat> jokes as a shield for a political motivation? I think there's a giant difference between what I'll see at an open mic or at a comedy show and some of the stuff I see online. And I feel like for some folks online, that is the real political message. And I think the whole idea of like, oh, these are just jokes kind of doesn't nearly apply to them the same way I'd see it apply to somebody at a comedy show doing jokes. I it, think feels, they... it feels distinctly different. Like when I watch Steven Crowder, for example, that maybe you guys don't attribute him the whole comedian shield thing, but like he will often use that. And I'm like, well, your shit clearly has a political slant. It feels drastically different. Mm. So I'm wondering if that applies to everyone. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because I got to make sure that you get the tickets that you need, okay? And sometimes things are sold out. You're trying to see an Akash Singh show, it might be sold out. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to SeatGeek, okay? The best place on the internet to get your tickets, okay? And they're not only the best because they let me sit front row at a motherfucking Nets game. That's not the only reason they're the best. They're the best because they're gonna make sure that you're gonna get the tickets that have the best value. They're gonna put a little green dot next to the tickets that are a good deal. Red dot next to the tickets that are not a good deal. On their own platform, they're telling you who's trying to gouge you. I think that's a pretty cool thing for a ticketing app. So. What am I gonna do to make this even sweeter? I don't know. Maybe give you $20 off your first purchase with the promo code flagrant. How about that? You go to UC Geek and make sure you you make sure that you download it, by the way. Make sure you down the app. Go to the app store, you download the app Seat Geek, and you're gonna get $20 off your first purchase with the promo code flagrant. Make sure you use it. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because I gotta make sure you're getting all your nutrients. You know I care about you and your nutrients, okay? Look at me. I look full of nutrients. One thing when you look at me, outside of my facial hair, you think this guy got all the nutrients that he needs in his system. Where am I getting them? Athletic Greens, specifically AG1. Start your day. Get all of them 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens that you need to start that day. This is where I'm getting it, right here, okay? This is why I'm out here in the world having successful, amazing days. It starts with this, okay? Sustainable routines are key. AG1, the daily micro habit that's gonna change your gosh darn life. You wanna lead a healthy lifestyle? Listen, this is it right here. One scoop, one minute, once a day, every single day. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day, that's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health when you got AG1. And to make it even easier, Athletic Greens is gonna give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash flagrant. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash flagrant to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. If it's still <clears throat> funny, I, it's fine, it's funny. Yes. Funny is funny and you have to accept it Absolutely. even if you disagree with it. But if it's, and I think a lot <sighs> of people do it for followers. They lean politically to get followers, tying to what Andrew said. But the problem is a lot of times they don't have the funny behind it. It's just for clapter. Clapter comedy we call it, where it's just like, yeah. nobody's laughing but they just clap at all your points. And some people genuinely believe in those yeah, things. Like when I look funny. at, when I, when I look at uh, Crowder, I see Crowder stuff like, I think he genuinely is conservative. Yeah. Like that is his thing. Yeah. yeah. And I think he also, wants to be funny, sure. and the way that he's going to be <clears throat> funny is with that leaning. Sure. Me personally, I like to have the ambiguity of my thoughts because I think it helps the joke because I am a comedian before I'm anything else, 
right? So I don't want you to know where I'm gonna go with it. And mm -hmm. I think that's the predictability thing that annoys us about late night and a lot of different shows. It's like, we know the angle. Yeah. Like, that's why it's fun to watch the the redhead girl. I, I wish I knew her name, Just Pearly Things, whatever. Yeah. Like, I think it's funny to watch her uh, put together that 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 uh, idea. Yeah. Because whether she believes it or not, to me, doesn't matter. I'm like, ooh, that's a unique thought that could be funny yes. that I haven't heard of. Yeah. You know? And, and I think oftentimes the jokes that lean just one specific direction, doesn't matter left or right, mm. we've kind of heard. These ideas aren't that new. Mm. Yeah. I think... <clears throat> I think if you ever go through the process and be like, nah, we don't give them that shield, then at that point, it starts to become a thing where you now have to start picking and choosing, and then it becomes a much more difficult conversation. So I, I generally, yeah. if people are trying for jokes, like, you let that slide. But there are times I'm like, I don't think this bitch is joking. I think this is how she really feels. And even though it might be a of joking tone, I, I let it slide because at the end of the day, I, there's no way of knowing. Mm. It bothers but, me more because I can tend to agree with Andrew a lot of times. I don't know if it's what you really feel. I think a lot of times it's, I want to get followers and this is the way to throw like, them. You, you've off. been to shows before and you heard a comic say some, some jokes and you're like, mm, just, just like, you let it slide because at the end of the day, everybody has the right to. But something in the back of your head thinks like, there's a little bit more there. It doesn't ever happen to you? Uh, a little bit more meaning what? I used to do this when, when, when dudes were trying to get a pussy on stage. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, man, this joke isn't because you love comedy and you really want to express this p opinion you had. Yeah. Or you just really want to express yourself creatively. Mm. This is, I'm going to be on stage, there's going to be girls in the audience, and I'm going to say this, and they're going to think I'm funny, I'm going to get some pussy. Mm. So I would resent that. I, I, Yo, bro, I don't know how, how that shit works, because I ain't never gotten pussy off stage. Like, I've I killed can, that I, show so many times. <laughs> sometimes I'd be hanging by the door, I'm like, I'm getting pussy tonight. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing, bro. Nope. That shit pissed me the fuck off. I've been, I've been doing this, I got a standing go, I still ain't getting no pussy. That's, <laughs> that's how you know when niggas are crazy. Bro, I was like, bro, I'm getting so <laughs> mad. <laughs> that, man, I just killed it. That's great. Because I see dudes at open mics, bands, just, just, just do a mediocre set, and women's fucking panties. Can I tell just, you something that is really disheartening? <laughs> you don't even have to be funny to get pussy on stage. Yeah. yeah. I've seen guys bomb and girls are still talking to them after the show to the point that I'm like, I don't respect anybody in this exchange right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sad for both so of you. Why do you think it is? You think, it, is it just dudes at your shows maybe? No, no, there's a lot of women at the show. Really? Yeah. But what's the subject matter? Are you talking yeah, about you like, talking oh, to girl, up? girls are so funny. <laughs> Burk up. Yeah, I definitely Burk up. Yeah. Burk up. I can't definitely imagine not. your material is yeah. like, girls are so wacky. Yo, like, you got to tell these girls to burk up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you do that ever? Nah. No? No, no, no. So my mom would be too happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I can't, I, yo, listen, that's one thing I'll never do. I'll never make my mom happy. Is your mom burnt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is your mom burnt? Does she burnt? up? No, no, but she likes that lifestyle. Oh. She just doesn't want to do it because she likes her hair. Oh, she got that good hair? Yeah, she got that good hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Ethiopians, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got that Burkham scission. Hey, hey, she got that good stuff. Burkham <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's doing good. Okay, so we, yeah, we got to get some pussy at shows, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Have you tried talking to them? Have you, said, have you tried asking? No, I don't want to do too much. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, oh, you oh, want how'd them? you like my set? You know, I'm not going to yeah. do nothing like that. But you yeah, like, oh, we appreciate the set. You know, well, appreciate You want like them to press you? Right here, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did the work. You got to you gotta do a little bit of the labor. Uh, I don't think it's cat. This shit is No, this shit is No, 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 no. Like, oh, let hey. me go on flagrant. It's like, I don't get no pussy from girls. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> to be clear, now they yeah, I ain't said I don't get no pussy from girls. No, no. I said I ain't never gotten it after a stand up show. That's on now. That's, is that is that your to the entrance to the to the manosphere? Like what? <laughs> That's what like, got you into oh, that. Yeah, is that, <laughs> is that <laughs> no, this stand up shit's not working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, oh, thanks, but like, thanks, I had other activities. You know, I had dance and stuff, so that was that was fine. Oh, you can dance? Yeah. Do you want to have dance competition? <laughs> 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 do you want do you know how to get sturdy? No, no, I don't know. How to you get can't sturdy. get sturdy, bro? No, what no. kind of dance? You just, yeah, what kind of how dance? are you gonna casually bring up dance? I I, I go out salsa dancing. <laughs> wow. Yo, why is your lip quivering? Nobody, that is the game. Yeah, yeah, that was wild. Wow. 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 You heard game, that bro. lip quiver? That was that was that was that he drew the lip quiver. Yeah, Andrew, that's, that's a big pause come moment. On, son, come oh. on. Let's just Yo, you're dance, Puerto Rican. Bro. Can you handle this? Nah, you, that's you. Son. You said you I can dance. Alex I, can't I, dance. Yo, hold on. On the one or the two? Relax. Alex can't I dance. Do both. Very you can dance also on the one and the two? Yeah, yeah that's not happening. Oh, yes, Kind of cute. Come on, I know how to fucking salsa. <laughs> Come on, you salsa, bro. I'm not Come giving on. salsa hey. with no grown man. Come on. 
Like, this is my Latino side. I don't do that. Come on, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think Latin dudes dance together? Hey, Latin dudes Latinos everywhere would lose respect for me if I come on. No, they would love that. You supposed to dance? No, no. The ladies might have a few laughs. The dudes be like, that's gay. No, ladies, Papi, Papi, that's gay. No, 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 no. This is how you're gonna get girls to get you back straight. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good on that. They want to fix you. They gotta fix you. You gotta gay it up a little bit, and then they gotta straighten you back. Yeah. Come on, bro. I'm just saying, hey, you out here dressed in the rainbow? Yeah, you got the anal beads, <laughs> on, you got the anal beads on your wrist. What's going on right hey, here? Hey, That's hey. a lot of beads, though. You told a bit of ankle beads. Nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. All right. You got the monkey pack starter kit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play that music. I need, I, I, all right, no dancing then, fine. Yeah, Whatever, I feel rejected, man. I'm good, I'm good. So that's how you get girls, though? That was one of the ways when I started. So okay. I, I never had that whole red pill issue like that. You know what's fucked up? You guys are big Patrice fans. You know, like, he was like my intro to that world? Yeah. Yeah. He's the GOAT. He is the GOAT. But he would always do it funny. Yeah. True. Like, you need to do it with funny. If you're just serious and angry, it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, I agree. Like, yeah. dudes complain about women not being funny about it yeah. is embarrassing. Yeah, it's rough. It is really rough. And mm. Patrice would always pick it himself, too. A lot of the, the red pill stuff is like, I'm the alpha, I'm this, I'm that. Patrice would, he talked about how he don't have a big dick. Yeah. He's like, I ain't really packing like that. He says that yeah. in the middle of one of his Diabetic. Like, Diabetic. That's yeah. how he found out. His, his girl was like, maybe your pee tastes like birthday cake. Yeah, that's a fire <laughs> bit. So good. Fire bit. Fire bit. You so know the good. first girl you hooked up with? Yes. What I do. You, what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 2021. <laughs> <laughs> She's same girl, right? <laughs> yeah, same girl. Okay. It's in this, in this tax wild. year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what is she doing? What happened to the girl you hooked up with? The I, first I, one? I, I have no idea. You you keep in touch? I mean, yeah. I, He's married to her. <laughs> you married to her? Come on, Both bro. of them. And they're weird. We're, yeah, you, we're, you know what the first girl's still doing? I've never been asked that before. That's a weird question. Do you think that's weird that we got two hole in ones on a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Wait, that's for real? Weird? You've never been to the way? Yeah, yeah I'm a bro. Hole in one. Come on now. That's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah, I'm tired. Why is that crazy though? That's the way that God intended. These are some five that's star so lesbians, boring. right? Yo, so <laughs> real talk, man. Yeah, and think about I'm it. If you wouldn't have been out here fucking around. <laughs> Um, that Caller Dotty podcast would have never taken off. Would have never taken so, off. So, you know, by spreading it out, you, you could call, call it Caller Doggy. You are a manosphere. You are a red pill. <laughs> <laughs> that is super red pill, bro. Yeah. But if I wasn't fucking around, then that would have never what? That would have never happened. The podcast would have never happened? Or whatever the next iteration of it was. Didn't you break it up? Oh, I broke it up so that one girl got the bag by herself. Exactly. Yeah. Good for her. She deserved it. She did. She was a better looking one. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how the podcast works? <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> so that you would prefer Alexandra? Alexandra is her name? I mean, listen, I, I don't want to prefer any white woman publicly, but. Publicly. Privately, though. Privately, hell yeah. But she's not white. She freckled up. Is she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that ain't Yo, a problem. I mean, that's if a, she's freckled, are, are freckled people white, dude? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, can we have that discussion? Lindsay Lohan, 50% brown. Yeah. She's not white. Lindsay Lohan. She do be doing crack like a black person. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She found, she found, ah, she found a lot. Oh. Yeah, she's she Muslim, Muslim now. Yeah, of course Muslim. she's Muslim yeah. now. Yeah. Career yeah. resurgence. Shout found, out to Lindsay, yo, bro. Found a lot immediately in a Christmas movie. Oh. Mm. What you know about that? I didn't know that. That's where you're trying to fix them straight. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying Bang. to get her back. Bang. I mean, shout out to her. You know what I mean? She went through her addiction issues. If Allah helped her out of it, then, you know, mashallah. Mm. Mashallah. That's right. Mashallah. Yeah. But you skirted out of whatever the fuck we were talking about. Oh, yeah. Alex Cooper. Would you go on a, a salsa date with her? No. Why not? Why would I? I already told you nothing's happened publicly. Uh. Which one, you He's trying to keep everything weird. under the covers. You so know? what do you? Hold up, Alex. Alex, you know what? Nope. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be the only black person on this. Come nope. On, hold up, Alex. This is a serious question. Nope. Yeah, serious question. And, and a lot of a lot of uh, your girlfriends probably talk about this too. Wow. You, you wow. Probably, you, you probably seen that. He clip. got one girl. No, 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 no. He got not, one girl. No, no, no. Girlfriends, as in the homegirls. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, home. <laughs> He's the homegirls. Yo, the home girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get out of here. I don't know your personal life. Calling names and shit like that. No, no, no. That's crazy, bro. If you walk around New York with a white girl, you get looks, don't you? Europe? No, New York. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And like, then really? if you yeah. if you ended up marrying a white girl, I bet you some of your homegirls would probably. I mean, if they don't say it directly, you probably know they probably have some thoughts in the back of their head, right? Probably. Hmm. Yeah. But that does. It's not like that in Canada where everybody. Oh, it's like that in Canada. Yeah, it's like that. So it's like, it's like that. It's like that for preach. 
Get out of here. Yeah, he's been with this girl since he's mother, like a teenager. And like he has comments all the time at church, whatever it might be. But at about, church. Oh, yeah, at church is where you place. get it the most. But what about his side bitches, though? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a <laughs> I know, I said, so, I so, mean, he's not here. Hey, everybody, so <laughs> His marriage is problem. <laughs> you guys are, are crazy. Son, this These guy. guys are crazy. <laughs> he's going crazy. That was nuts. Uh, that's the why way that you tore down you your doing? brother. Right? He's crazy. trying to call her doggy, these guys. Why are you trying to split them up? Have you ever tried being gay? <laughs> nah, nah. These guys there's almost no curiosity. Did. These guys, there's no cure. No, there's no curiosity. Oh, curiosity. Uh, <laughs> there's no cure. There's no Why don't you cure. try it? <laughs> it's a wrap for you, bro. Yeah. You know what though? That's what? real though, because what? 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 If hold on, now. I know most women I know. Yeah. If a dude told them they were bisexual, they were like, "Now nah, you're gay." 100%. Women are more homophobic than men. This is like men. liberal women would say. No, no. Women are more homophobic yeah, yeah, yeah. than men. Yes. You know, I, men I say that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But who cares what men think nah. about their dating life? You would think? forgive your boy if he sucked your balls one time? <laughs> <laughs> you would know, forgive your boy, right? If it was just one <laughs> suck of the old balls, yeah. right? Hey, look at this pro status. <laughs> I would never tell you. I know, right? Saying, I know, bro. sir. Yeah, I I That's why you were against Kanye. Late night. What if you were trying to jerk it and he loans you some spit? That's not gay. That's not gay. If he did if he gave you a little hawk to eat, yeah. he doesn't touch. He didn't touch. He just you. spits. You're like, yo, can I borrow some? Why is that gay? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? Why are you gay? For what reason? For what reason you have decided to be gay? <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen that pastor from Uganda? <laughs> Bro, the it greatest. Is, no, the I've interview. Seen it, yeah, I've gone to the clinic. Eh? I've seen the gays. The anus is raptured. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that is the crazy way to describe gay people. They are walking around with vegetables. It's the penis doesn't work no more. <laughs> That guy's a great. I want to interview him so bad. Get him on. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's awesome. Shout out to Dr. Martin Semple. What he says is fucked up, but he's hilarious. But he's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Like Dr. Umar Johnson. Yes. The, the goat. goat. The actual goat. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he reposted something I yeah, said. Were you, what did he say? What about the snow bunnies? About, about the snow dragons. <laughs> Ooh. The white, the, the white and Asian mix. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but he reposted the whole thing and I was so, I've never been more excited about <laughs> yeah. the repost yeah. in my entire fucking Isn't life. Isn't that crazy? Some of the most hateful people are the funniest. If you're funny, you get away with everything. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Shout out. Simple to as that. Who Just won. be funny. People get so mad when they see stuff, but I can't stop laughing. It's crazy. Who's I, mad at Dr. Umar? Aren't you mad at him? No. No? no just Why are you mad at him? I'm not mad at him at all. He's mad at you. <laughs> Why? Because I was with the snow bunnies? Man. Mm. I've turned I've turned the other cheek though. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm reformed. What does that mean? Are you yeah. clapping other cheeks now? <laughs> yeah. what, are you yeah. what, what is that? Is that what you just said? I mean, you know what I mean? I mean <laughs> You're back I'm, I'm watching of Dr. Umar and I'm good. You know, both her cheeks are white, so you turn <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. the same white girl. No, no. Snow bunny season's over. Who are you with now? <laughs> I mean, hey listen, I keep my private life private, you feel me? But yeah. <laughs> You can't eat. <laughs> Yo. Hey, I'm not, I'm not a single I'm person that sounds so suspicious. I, I mean, I, 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 can I tell out. you something? There's going to be a girl that's really hurt watching that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a white girl that is crying right now. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Just crying in her Timbits. Yeah. Yeah. Her tears freezing in Montreal. <laughs> Yo, low key, I did slap a white woman on camera. Uh, Come on, bro. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Jeez. You guys can pull it up. That shit was fire, man. Shout outs to her. Brittany Simon, shout outs to her. Why? Her YouTube channel. Why, why, why? She was doing some kind of BDSM thing, so she was slapping this white dude named Destiny. So I was like, I was watching. And then and then I was like, man, this is not fair. Somebody got to slap you. And, and Destiny's like, I don't feel comfortable. And I was like, hey, what's up, nigga? <laughs> and so I got up and I smacked her. And yeah. honestly, it's so weird. Yeah. On her face? You're a hero. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my oh. God. Jesus we'll pull Christ. this up. Hold on. Run that. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Al's sudden anti-white woman <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Reversal. Shut up. Come on. <laughs> you love white it's women. It's okay, okay, hold up. You know what? Though, I, I've talked about this before. This time, <laughs> so we I, I don't know if you're. You started pushing. Oh, my bad. Hold on, hold yeah, on. You, 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 is it in the video? Yeah, it's in the video. Okay, let me pull it up. Hold up. Uh, oh, you, you this keep is going. What I'm gonna find. Yeah, yeah, you'll find it. It's not that. It's not that deep. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Here? yeah, yeah. yeah. See where it changes color? Uh, you know, exactly. I might, might be a little bit back. Oh. But anyways, um, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh this is crazy, bro. Oh. You're a wild dude for this, bro. I have a W. Yes, I want to see this. Uh, hold, on. Oh. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. <laughs> 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 okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. 
But we don't Post see it. What the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's the full clip somewhere else on YouTube. You blue pill cock. No, you're so blue pill. That was for me. It wasn't for the audience. You feel me? And I want to stay monetized. Yo, that is the most. I want to stay monetized. I gotta make my money. I think you slept, bro. Oh, dude. I think you did this to make your community happy. Make you think you don't like white women. Don't touch that hand. I haven't watched it. Hand, dude. I haven't watched it, dude. That's ridiculous. I can't believe that. But I take I take back my honor. Yeah, that, bro. Was, that was hard. That was crazy. I mean, you pull up the clip. I just don't want it to be demonetized. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's for YouTube. But if you guys want, you just why would it be demonetized? He's giving you permission. Even if you give me YouTube, you know how YouTube be. <laughs> how does YouTube be? <laughs> you know how YouTube be. Look at your face. Yo. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. Bro. I'm like, bro. No, hold like on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if you've had this, but Wait, I Wait, like there's gotta uh, be a video somewhere. There's no like video no of it anywhere? Out. No, there is, there is. You just go on YouTube search and you go. No, keep no, no. going, keep going. Just go on YouTube search yeah, yeah, and yeah. slaps. Mark, you but, gotta find that shit, dude. That was crazy how you cut that out, dude. Why are you censoring yourself? You cock? know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Blue pill. Yo, yo. Right. For real, man. I think this is the full thing. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, just skip ahead. Yeah, this set looks a he little gets, Look at this. <laughs> oh, so she slaps <laughs> Destiny. Yeah, she slaps him. I mean, uh, are we that, running out of things to do to be funny? Is that a do? <laughs> so he slapped, she, she, he got slapped, nah, and so I, I jumped in afterwards. And then this is where you said, we want vengeance. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yes, I want to see this. <laughs> okay. okay, Steven, this is for you. I want it. This is the highlight of my career. <laughs> okay, this is how you guys get Wait. quality in life. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yo! Yeah. <laughs> I told you, you can't show that. You can't show that. <laughs> but again, yeah. so, you've done that before. So. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He was too <laughs> comfy with that. <laughs> yo, 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 the red light came on. <laughs> yeah. You've done that before. Hold on, hold on. That is great. No! I mean, I just want to picture experience, son. I mean, one's experience. One is consensual. Two, you know, she slapped the dude just before, so everyone's on board, okay? Wait, what does that mean, though? An eye for an eye does not make a. Yeah, what happened to turn the other cheek? An eye for an eye means uh, turn off the lights. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man. (laughs) That was lit. That was crazy. (laughs) I'm too excited about this. Yeah, I love it too much. This excitement's wild. I don't know what that is. What is her reaction? Hold up. What did she say? She's close. She's close. She was fine. Why, do you wish you could have done this to most of your ex girlfriends? Uh, never, never, never. <laughs> Is that the problem? <laughs> never, <laughs> never <laughs> at all. I mean, getting on your nerves and stuff. What never. What do you mean? She slapped you. Central BDSM. Yeah, there you go. She said it afterwards, okay though. With it. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, you can stop it there. But yeah, <laughs> she said it. Consensual BDSM. Wait, why, why do we stop it there? Do you start slapping the shit out of the <laughs> Yeah, me and she wanted a tart, you know what I'm saying? Gotta keep it going. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Motherfucker, what how you can think? you slap, dog? Yeah, for real. How can you well, slap? Uh, you guys think it's that crazy? It's yes. crazy, my boy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes. Hold up. Hold up. In the, con- in, in it's the context, it's fire, but it's yeah. crazy. In, hold in, in, in the context Yo, of, maybe she slapped the to treat women like shit. <laughs> hold up. In the context of, she slapped the dude just before, and then afterwards it was her turn. What's the issue? What do you mean? What's the issue? You slapping a retarded person. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's crazy, Yo, bro. Nah, I gotta take off my girl. That's my girl. That's no. my girl. That's so, my girl. Guys, Big Daisy Energy Tour, doing big things in 2023. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna hit all the little cities we didn't hit. But in the meantime, January 14th, I'm at the fucking Wilba. It's my first theater, 1,200 people. Biggest show I've ever done. Y'all need to buy tickets. Over half of them are already sold out. Probably three-fourths by the time you guys see this episode. Also, January 20th and 21st, Las Vegas. I'm going to be at the Virgin Hotels. Come through. Also, February 9th through 11th, I'm at the Punchline Comedy Club in Sacramento. And March 9th through 11th, I'm coming to Miami. We're going to live there one day. But I'm going to be there March 9th through 11th at the Improv. Get your tickets at akashsing.com. Now let's get back to the show. What is BDSM? Like spanking a girl? She's Canadian, huh? Yeah, it could be that. It could be tying folks up. I don't need to tie nobody up, bro. I feel like that's for dudes that are not strong enough to hold a girl. (laughs) <laughs> I don't you know, if your girl's like tie me up please she's saying have you, cock. <laughs> have you never seen them hog ties say again the hog ties but what's the difference between that I just mean, grab your girl how much do you love pig bro you're just trying to hog tie eat yeah. bacon yeah. 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 you love her hog 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 hog. I can't you be honest with <laughs> but yeah no good. I don't understand that like the, the whole idea I really genuinely think if your girl has like a rape fantasy with you or needs to be tied up or oh. beaten she doesn't think you're strong enough to act Actually do it. She's like, I'll help you, Timey. Yeah, I'm gonna help so you. But no, isn't that like that's the most emasculating thing ever? If your girl goes, can you tie me? Cause you're not strong enough. 
<laughs> Maybe she just into that. I don't shit. know if it's that. Like, Why she got me into that? The same way you into feet, nigga. Like <laughs> what you talking about? I, I mean, I tie her feet up. <laughs> I tie her feet up. Right now. I, I tie your feet up. Take this right now. Do it right now. You've never fucked with. Hold on. Let me let me put them beads in between his. You've never fucked with. Oh no. You've never fucked with handcuffs or nothing. Hand, not like I don't need that. I, I could. Nothing is not necessary. You, it's you just add an extra thing. Yeah, but you never just went like that. I have. Okay, so why do you need handcuffs? Because sometimes you want your hands elsewhere. I also don't have the same relationship with the police that you do. <laughs> so maybe there's this like weird thing that you want to experience. You're like yeah. I'm in charge. Because it's this is a very Canadian thing to do is just let a black dude slap you as a white. Whoa, whoa! What oh. do you mean? Oh. I just I'm so apologetic. Oh, reparation. Like, we owe you everything. Now that's definitely an American thing. I mean, uh, you go to some. Wait, city. y'all work Canadians Seattle? think Americans are cucks? No. Y'all are the bigger no. cucks. <laughs> Y'all are the biggest cuck. Who's Do you think you're cuck? bigger cucks or we're bigger cucks? <laughs> I don't think it's close, dude. That's a good question. Should we have a world cuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we <laughs> just be like put put, put everybody's <laughs> girlfriends out there and see who reacts faster than some other dude trying to fuck them? <laughs> That's a crazy competition. <laughs> just a bunch of Finnish people like hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the <life one. laughs> It's a wild combo. But but in all seriousness, ah. when you look at yourself as a Canadian person, yeah. and then you look at Americans, do you feel you are better at people fucking your wives <laughs> and you were watching them, or are we better at people fucking our wives and we watch them? I feel like y'all produce all the cuck porn I've ever seen. Whoa. Am I lying? Whoa. Think about that. Who else produces cuck porn other than America? We probably produce most of the porn. I mean, I think you guys are like so- you only got 30 million people, bro. And I haven't seen one Canadian ever produce any of that shit. How do you know they're Canadian? They're the ones sitting in the yeah. chair while they're watching. All I know is, all, yeah. you know, we got we got pro porn, we got porn studios. Isn't that the name of the Vancouver? And I never, I never see what's, maybe you're right. What? Say it again, Isn't bro. it the Vancouver hockey team? What's their mascot? The Canucks? Oh, Isn't that what you guys yeah, called it? That's, that's how they pronounce it <laughs> yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Canucks. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, <laughs> I mean, that is kind of crazy. I think that's you guys. I think that's you guys. I think you guys are the biggest cooks. You know that not to be true. I believe it. Do you think Justin Trudeau fucks his wife? <laughs> or do you think that there's a guy that looks like Preach that does it? <laughs> like, I think, let's I, just I, be honest here, bro. I think Justin thinks about hiring Preach sometimes, and then he just puts on the black face makeup and does it himself. Mm. Wow. I mean, mm. if she got a rape fantasy with a black dude, he, he don't have to hire nobody. He, did he brown cuts face. himself. He did brown He did brown face. face. He, he, did he? Don't, don't was care. it brown? Don't, yeah, was yeah, it yeah, brown? It was. Just because he wore an Aladdin hat doesn't mean it's not blackface. <laughs> Whoa, was there black Aladdins? He didn't probably. No. He just put yeah. on the hat. It's still, he, he, no. he wore that black tarnished makeup. Whoops. Will Smith was the, the genie. genie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but was there a black Aladdin? Can there be a black Aladdin? There should be. You think? There should be. I mean, at least stealing the bread, probably, that part. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was wild. Yeah. You can smack well, this white bitch right here. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that right now. That's wild. Her name is Brittany. Yeah. Brittany, this is no disrespect. Obviously, uh, you're into your things, and we're not going to kink. It's called yeah. kink shame, right? That's yeah, right. kink shame. Yeah. How would you feel if someone said, oh, you liking feet is disgusting? That's I kink. stand you know, 10 toes People have down. said that. I say yeah. that to them every day. People say that to me all the time. Do yeah. you think it's weird that I get kink shame and you don't? I think the feet thing is kind of weird. Why? Why? I mean, it's feet. I mean, they touch the floor, they're dirty, smelly, they got the socks on all day long. Yeah. So how it's much better wrong. is it if, with all that, a girl still got a beautiful foot? Think about that. There's no such thing as beautiful feet. It's like, it's like a biblical story. That's like, there's like, there's, that's like saying there's like beautiful pussy. That's not true. It's like there's the least ugly pussy, and that's it. There's beautiful. I've never looked at a, a, a pussy before and been like, work of art. I'm just not, this is the best one of all the trash I've seen. Dove is fuming. Wait a minute, hold on. This is an interesting discussion. This is an interesting discussion. It looks like an axe wound. Let's keep it a stack. What, the a pussy? Yeah, an axe Well, wound. <laughs> being that all of us here are with the, the one woman we're gonna spend the rest of our lives with, I'm gonna disagree on behalf of all yes. of us. <laughs> uh, that being said, outside of the one that we've all chosen, which is the perfect pussy and it looks absolutely amazing, Yes. there have been some pussies in the past hmm. that have looked um, rather abnormal. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. I understand the point that you're trying to make. Sometimes you do look at a pussy and you're like, ooh, like was a guy playing that on the Titanic? You know? Like, <laughs> you know, like, oh like, like what is going on with that little accordion type thing, yeah. right? Yeah. He once said, uh, it looks like the painting in Ghostbusters 2, and I never forgot that. <laughs> do you remember the, do you remember, you don't remember the? Uh, That's what, a really good reference. What was the guy's name? 
Fuck. It started with a V. I feel like Miles would know this. Miles? Van or Vore or something like that. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're moving on. Great. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> Great reference. You know what? He bull- he pulled me into that. I know, right? Yeah, he did. Bombs too. Yeah. It was your We're in this together, bro. It was your We're just fucking you together. from the past. I yeah, can't help these guys. Ghost, Ghost like Ghostbusters. Too? Yeah, y'all need to watch more movies. Al's Ghost only Ghost. watches black movies. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, like, can we talk about when you went Black Snake Moan on this <laughs> girl right here? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Yo, the point is on was the the, Absolutely. Was that the motivation? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Brittany... Brittany is a is, she's a great sport for going on with that. Oh, Immediately so looked good. out for you. She was like, "Hey, I consent to that." That, that was, was very. I mean, cool she consented her. before and after. But if she said it is, again, she yeah, yes, sure absolutely. to make sure that you were good. Yeah, yeah. So even if anybody cuts it up, she got your back. The portion um, I cut out the part where she says she consents, and I sent that to Doctor Umar. So we straight now. Okay. But yeah, the video turned out great. I'm very proud of it. I guess there's a question: Can girls get in on white boy fun? Like as friends, like you might slap each other, punch each other in the dick. Can oh. girls not get in on that if they're part of the friend group? Is it sexist for you Equality. to exclude them? Equality. Yeah, that's sexist for you to exclude them and not treat them like one of the boys, you know? Mm. So, now, but to your point, I think you might have done the right thing. Appreciate now, you could punch, punch a girl in the dick for sure. Yeah. For sure. If you're all just having fun. For sure. Now, just out of curiosity, do you want to... You said you were doing this for equality. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, you, okay, you, hold up, hold up. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me clarify. More like reparations. <laughs> Outwardly, I was going out with that. Me personally, I just really wanted to slap a white girl. Yeah, so, it. like, it's, so it's, here's it's, the it's really like, there was something that was like so appealing. I'm not gonna lie. Here's and, I, and I know it's not a good thing to say online, but that's the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why did you want to slap one? You said I, that you I, put hold up, handcuffs hold, on hold them, up. you said that you've hog tied them. Hold on, I, I have a huge bias against white ladies, which is. I mean, You're I, sexually attracted to them? Yeah. No, like no. Just, you hate the control. I'm just hands, like all, all my craziest experience in life, I've been with white women. Really? Absolutely. Because they could throw down a suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once they latch on, they, they can, right? Yes, yes. They yes. can. All, yeah. I mean, you know I mean? Who's <laughs> the, I mean, you can't even say no to that. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. can't. They yeah. think there's some maple syrup up in that. Thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever say tap that? <laughs> Do you ever I'm say not, that? I'm not, I'm not doing that. Say that? I'm not doing that. Why not? I'm not, I'm not doing that. Why I'm not? not? I, 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 you know, shout out, to, shout out to the white queens. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't, bro. Uh-huh. I'm saying you should do whatever you damn choose. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm in swampy waters right now. I feel it. Can what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up to my knees, bro. Yeah, I feel this shit. Right. I'm over here with hey. crocodiles. Hey. And hey. Yeah. I'm over here like, damn. Yeah. You thought the Jew comment was crazy with Kanye. You know, <laughs> it's nice. No, no, you were really taking the heat off of Kanye right now. Absolutely. Um, okay. So, so how did that clip not go crazy? Yeah, I, I don't, how did I not see that? How, did, <laughs> how do you have to promote that? Is, is that a little disappointing? Are you like, man, I thought that should be going more viral? I don't think it's that crazy. I think in our world today, with the sex positive stuff, I don't think people really care that deep. Really? Yeah. If, they, if, if this was 20 years ago, I think it'd be a problem. Nowadays. But if, it, now, if it comes out later that I'm out here beating white women in private, then that's, I'd be wild. Yeah, mm. but doing it in public, on camera, that yeah, kind of Yeah, especially like with like, the whole consensual stuff, like it's fine. Yeah. I don't think it's that deep. But it does make people uncomfortable because of the racial dynamics. That is 100% true. Yeah, and also, 20 years ago, she'd be managing the firehouse for the Ghostbusters, so there's no other way that you'd be able to slide. <laughs> so there's no way. Hey, see how we brought back Ghostbusters? Yeah. 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 Redemption. So, exactly. Yeah, We're back. No, 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 so there's no way that you, know, you could actually slap her in that case. But you're right. It's almost safer to beat white women on camera Absolutely. than off camera. Absolutely. Because hearing this story, if she went on her, what does she have? If she, I don't know. She went to the barn or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. her life is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, how, how does she do her podcast? Like, You know what I mean? Uh, in her barn. In her barn. She t- turns on the camera and then travels two hours, uploads it on the whatever Wi-Fi she can find. Is She's dedicated right? to YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, she doesn't even have Wi-Fi at her barn? No. Holy shit. Yeah. She's probably the most dedicated YouTuber I know. She literally drives two hours to go do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in like a really rural part of whatever place she's at. She, she seems drives somewhere. wild cool, actually. She is. To be fair. It's yeah, she's a like Brittany, yeah, why can't we get Brittany Starlink? Can we, yeah, can, yeah. Can we do a GoFundMe <laughs> to get Brittany Starlink? Brittany what? Starlink, the Elon Musk internet. Do you know who Elon uh, Musk is? Okay, yeah, we can, we can set that up. Yeah. I want to get Britney internet. He doesn't want to acknowledge Elon Musk because he's too Oh, you don't do that? You don't no, talk. I love Elon. Big Shout out to Big, was it Big, Big E? Is that what Andrew called him? Is, is that what they called him? He called him Big E. You guys didn't see that cringe tweet? Uh, yeah. uh, what did he say? 
He's like, oh, I'm gonna be hanging out with Kanye. Big, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna break it up. It's Come fun. on, bro. Let's, let's do let's just salsa, dude. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Would you rather salsa or say that tweet? Would no, 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 no. I mean, I <laughs> Can I tell you something that's absolutely f- amazing to me? Uh. This is like a truly, really interesting thing about the time uh, that we all exist. That um, you are less afraid to 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 slap a white woman on absolutely. camera than you are to dance salsa with. Yeah, that's crazy. Dancing salsa with me is absolutely terrible. Respect. Yeah. Like, isn't that wild? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does that say about us? I'm more terrified of looking gay than going to jail. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm right. telling you, you're more Muslim than you think. <laughs> yo. I'm right. telling you. Yo. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to jail. I'm good. I have to say that to reassure myself. Jail for a Muslim <laughs> man is pretty much just uh, how you treat your wives. So whoa, <laughs> not, not Dude, that this guy's di- what's wrong with him? Except for them, it's not consensual. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? These I used guys. to see reports from like North Africa where these women would get up and they say like, if your husband doesn't slap you, he doesn't care about you. What? That's like a real thing in some parts of the world. Yeah. That's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can send you the video links. <laughs> yeah, that's facts, bro. That's like, crazy. If your husband doesn't slap you, doesn't That's care. Crazy. He should shake you sometimes. So what part of the podcast, I mean, what part of the Africa is this and why are we moving the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out. You guys are absurd. <laughs> the jokes that you make on women's <laughs> expense. This is absolutely disgusting. Like, honestly, it's 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 sexist. All right, here comes the blue pill beta bullshit. Yeah. No, it is yeah. fucking sexist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I want to go home and I want to watch my wife get fucked, <laughs> I should be allowed to do that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And you guys shouldn't be putting your hands all over women. I, I, if you guys think that shit's gonna happen, you were bugging. What if, what if we just do it sitting down, just holding? That's not gonna happen. What if we just like dap up and then. That's not happening. Dap, dap me up, dap Did me up. Did you lose it? Like, dap me up real quick and then. Oh! <laughs> We did it, We did You got two guys! Hey! Come on! Blue pill! Azul! Bastilla Azul! Hey! Papi! Hey, guys! This has been an episode of Flagon. We're here with the great ABBA. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's time to go watch the U.S. whoop Iran's us. Absolutely. Can't wait.